Egyptian army is continuing its efforts to overcome the damaging effect of floods in the Red Sea area in Upper Egypt last weekend. The army spokesperson said that specialized army personnel have been deployed in Red Sea's Ras Gharib since Tuesday with equipment to drain water and sand inside hospitals, schools and government facilities. Water vacuum trucks have been deployed in streets and main squares to restore traffic. In Upper Egypt, the Army's Southern Command distributed 50,000 food boxes to people affected by the bad weather, which hit several villages in Suhaeg Governorate. The Army said it assigned a medical convoy to conduct checkups and provide medicine to residents. It also mobilized a veterinary medical convoy to attend to livestock. The armed forces have finalized preparing 8 million packages of foodstuff to be offered on the market at half of their original price. The packages will be offered at all Egyptian governorates in accordance with directives by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. The move is meant to ease up burdens of high prices on the citizens. It also comes within the framework of the national role that is undertaken by the armed forces as a national institution which is part of the Egyptian people's fabric. Six Takfiris were killed and several wanted criminals and terror suspects were arrested by army forces as part of the comprehensive security operation that aims at uprooting terrorism in Sinai. Military spokesperson Brigadier General Mohammed Samir said in a statement on Sunday that the forces destroyed a hideout containing barrels full of explosives as well as 12 explosive devices that were designed to target security forces. Also, a pickup truck, a technical vehicle, Three unlicensed motorbikes and three huts were destroyed by the army forces. The forces seized a large quantity of scrap metal used in manufacturing explosive devices, RPG launcher, two grenades and two machine guns. Defense Minister Sari Subhi on Monday approved the treatment of a citizen who was injured at a blast in Arish city. Fadwa Abdullah El Malah, a resident of North Sinai Governorate, will be treated at the Armed Forces Medical Hospital of her injuries resulted from the blast. <laughs> مصر أحلى بكرة بيهم هم دول شبابا هم دول ولادا Welcome back. 